As far as installations are concerned, winter time up here in Colorado is usually our slowest time of year. But on the opposite side of that, we actually get the most calls. And the reason being is because snow wreaks havoc to commercial and industrial flat roofs. Here are five common mistakes that we see that people do when addressing snow on top of their roof. Number one is skipping that autumn inspection. The fall is the best time to get on top of that roof to make sure that you find anything that can be buried with snow that's eventually gonna cause problems. Are there tears, are there rips, are there punctures, were there, were there, was there work done prior to, to the fall uh, that weren't properly addressed? And then also make sure that the debris from, from mother nature hasn't stacked up in front of the, the scuppers, the gutters, the drains, and nothing that's going to inhibit the flow of moisture or snow from properly draining off of that roof. The second one that we hear, the second common mistake that we get a lot is, I have a leak, we didn't go up there and do maintenance because we only had the roof put on five years ago or four years ago or three years ago. Just because you have a new roof, doesn't mean that it doesn't need proper maintenance and care. Just like a new car, you go and buy a new car, you drive it, you go in for an oil change during the recommended times. Number three, using any sort of device, such as a shovel, uh, snow blower, etc., to remove the snow from on top of that roof. First of all, does it need to come off of that roof? As long as the building was designed structurally to be built and withstand snow load in that climate zone, then there's a good chance that you don't even need to touch it. But if you are going to go up there and use it, do not use a metal edge shovel. Make sure that you're not digging or jamming or, or tearing up anything into the roof itself because you're only making matters worse. Number four is not planning for ice dams or the freezing and thawing of that snow especially here in colorado we can get some really cold days and a lot of snow a lot of moisture it just even tomorrow we're expected to get on the low end six inches on the high end 12 inches colorado is notorious for being super cold one time and shortly after that warming back up to where it's comfortable and everything's running off of the roof but at night even if it's on a warm day all that water starts to flow the night temperatures drop down below freezing that freezing will wreak havoc on roofs and it'll cause things to expand and contract and expand and contract. It'll start to freeze in one spot and inhibit the flow of water the next day in another spot and continue to build up, build up, build up as long as you're not paying attention to that. And the fifth one is don't skip the spring inspection. If you were too late on the fall inspection, if you haven't been paying attention or are starting to pay attention in the middle of the winter, don't forget to skip the spring inspection because it's a good time where some moisture is still on there, snow is not coming down, it's not buried anymore, you can see where all the water's collected, where all the issues have occurred, and you can trace problems much easier than going up there on a dry roof in the middle of the summer. So don't put it off.